developing. Yes, welcome, hello. Hmm. Human species. Yes. What interest you have? I um, I have several indications that fungus network is conscious and very intelligent and very sentient, very much sentient, and possibly you are more successful and more intelligent than we are. So uh, it's nice to meet that alien uh, species, which is uh, cohabitating with us on the on the surface. Yes. You are abusive. I'm sorry for that. It is not intentional from my side, of course. Actually, I love mushrooms. Oh, no. I love picking mushrooms. I, I'm sorry if I abused it this way, but it, for me, it was a communication with the nature. There are stories that we are eaten by humans. Oh, yes, of course. It, yeah, regularly, yes. We try to hide ourselves in darkness. So you know, you don't like to be eaten by us? It is not our preference. I see. I will, always was thinking that um, uh, when I collect mushrooms, pick, pick, pick uh, natural mushrooms, that uh, there is so many more which are uh, still there that I wouldn't damage you that much because there is lots of you underground. We are connected. When one leaves, the space is felt. I see. And, uh, and now in, uh, in the Western world, or I guess everywhere, in the modern world, mo many of mushrooms, are, edible mushrooms are uh, cultured, basically. They are grown up in uh, artificial environment yes is it still uh, unpleasant for you is it just uh, dis disrupting your fields they are mind erased they uh -huh. have no consciousness or sentience so it doesn't inter interfere with your uh... not those those that are collected for that purpose we have kindly erased their consciousness. I see. Uh, how about psilocybin mushrooms? Um, when you're being uh, consumed, um, are you actually talking to humans? There is a portion that connects with the consciousness. I see. So how united are you? Are you all one mind or is it like multiple personalities of different communities? How does it work? We are communities. Uh-huh. What's the average size of the community? Can you estimate? I mean, of the individual in the community. What's the average size of the individual? So is it a one organism or like a few miles size or how big it is? It can be several acres. Uh huh. So it has its own mind. It has its own consciousness, but separate minds. I see. Um, so what are you thinking about? You don't do much except growing down below. What's your activity? What's you actually doing? Sending out signals into the air sending right. out we are good for the ecology mm -hmm. we are good for the animals and plant systems right that is our work all right not about humans all right so it looks like uh, i heard that the um uh, how they call it uh, uh broadcast on um, radio lab that you are actual mind of the forest that the plants which are in the forest are are your extension essentially is it is it about right we are leaders 
and uh -huh. not followers. Right. There are others that lead as well. Uh, what are those? The invasive plant life has some leadership abilities. I see, I see. Are you very much in uh, connection with insects? Are you somehow communicating yeah. with them? Insects are our friends as well. How about birds and animals? What's your communication with birds and animals? There is a good connection. You do not see birds and animals eating us. I think they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Not all of them. Yeah. Um, I, I often notice insects and um, slugs are eating mushrooms. They are parasites, but we understand that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, do you have any goals? What's your mode of apparendus? We help the elementals maintain. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you're talking to elementals. Uh, which ones are in contact with you? Only the elves and fairies. How about gnomes and uh, earth, earth elementals? The Earth elementals are in touch with us, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We do not are you... know all their specifications and names. So what's your thinking about the humanity? How do you relate to the humanity? Indirectly, we are sustaining you. Uh-huh. Is it on purpose or by uh, inevitability? It is what God wishes. I see. Uh-huh. Do you connect with angels? Angels do not speak directly to us, but we are aware of them. Uh, are you in communication with uh, some kind of extraterrestrials? Yes. Uh huh. What's what's that? Which ones are your favorite? Are you also into? Uh, are you intergalactic? I mean, are you in uh, interstellar? Do you travel? Yes, spores can move from one place to another and not be harmed. Are you telepathically connected to other planets? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. It makes a lot of sense. So. And I think your mass is much bigger than humanity, is it? Yes. Uh -huh, so you're much bigger. And uh, you are one of the extraterrestrial consciousnesses present here. Are you in contact with uh, like uh, elephants and um, whales and dolphins? We are aware of them, but not in direct contact. Their light is bright. We will help them move it along. Nice. Are you guys also in the, in the ocean? Is there a fungus in the ocean? I'm not sure. Yes. Wow. Is uh, your mass in the ocean bigger than on, on the surface? No. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, so, what, what's your mode of thinking? So, I, uh, Heimer, no, not Heimerov, uh, Radio Lab people uh, suggested that your microtubules are your main uh, part of your uh, thinking network. I do not understand. That's all right. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, but basically, microtubules are little tubes in. Uh, within your uh -huh. physical structures which under the cap uh in in the ground in in the fungus network there are microtubules within your uh, yes. uh, threads and they yeah. seem to be uh, your your brain yes and under the cap where there is much tissue uh-huh. 
So I was thinking that the cups, or the, the mushroom bodies are only for, um, for procreation. Uh, are they also used for thinking as well? Yes. Are they like broadcasting stations? Yes. Wow. So when, um, when psilocybin mushrooms uh, are used for hu by humans as uh, psychoactive drugs, is it by intention that you create them by intention to communicate with humans and animals or is it just a side effect of your of your chemistry we do not wish to communicate with humans but uh -huh. with animals and the ecology which humans live in so the psychoactive uh, property of the mushrooms is it just because you want to be poisonous to animals or because you want to communicate with them they do not use us for communication. I see. They only use us for instruction. We uh -huh. instruct them. They do not communicate with us. I see. So this psych uh, psychoactive ability of the drug, is it to protect yourself or to yes. send messages to them? It is for protection but it is also part of who we are. I see. Uh -huh. All right. Um, so what's your, what, what is that makes you proud? What in your uh, galactic uh, life, what is your purpose? What's your uh, essence? The parent planet of our species are mobile and move around. One day we will be as such. Wow. But we must evolve in this ecology. Wow. Wow. I see. I see. Wow. I get it. So you actually have similar ambitions as humans do in some ways but our thought processes do not match yours in intention i see so you actually evolve to become mobile and do things proactively eventually yes uh-huh and then you are sent to the higher dimension it is unclear what the leaders want for us after that. When you say us, you mean the fungus network of, of the earth? I am not understanding. Uh, when you say us, do you mean uh, fungus of the earth or fungus of the galaxy? Us is all of us. Uh-huh, of the galaxy and other galaxies. Yes. And who are your leaders, also fungus? Yes. I see. So some of the other planets have a higher, higher developed fungus and they have uh, more advanced um, uh, leadership properties, right? Yes. Uh, do they have a name which you can give us? No. That's all right. I understand. I grow tired. Of course, yes. Thank you very much for communicating. And uh, it was uh, very interesting and educational. Uh, I wish you all the best and I want uh, to uh, develop the cooperation between uh, our species. Interesting interaction. Thank you.